So not too long ago, I took a look at the Fista Starburst, which was a law-friendly version of the Porsche that Jeremy took to Argentina. And so I thought, what other law-friendly cars are there that are based on cars we've seen before on Top Gear? Well, this is one of them. This right here is the Cheval Piquet, which is the law-friendly version of the Opel Cadet A. And I thought I would come down here just to try and relive one of the classic scenes and actually I thought I was going to make that then, <laughs> and there we go, and we have now sunk. I would say we've probably sunk a little bit more than Richard did in the special, but he did sink it into the water, right there, so we've done the same to ours, and this thing is completely dead. So actually, this seems like a fun place to just check this car out. So here it is, the Cheval PK. There's the Cheval badging here, then we have the PK on the side, and here is the rear based on the old Opel Cadet A. Later on in the video, we do actually have another law-friendly car, a law-friendly version of the Nissan 280ZX. But we're gonna look at this one first. So opening up everything, you can see here is the boot. Here is the interior. Hello, Michael. Hello. <laughs> and here is our engine bay. And again, this is another car from the unfinished mods mod pack that we've been looking at a lot recently, which means that I'm setting up to tell you there's new tuning parts once again <laughs> because really there isn't that much that needs to be changed in order to make this Oliver it's already the same color the only thing we really need to change is the wheels now these wheels are very similar to what he used in the original episode but I know that when he brought the car back to the UK he did try to put I think were mini lights or something like that like these wheels right here dished eight these have the chrome edge and these don't actually yeah we want the chrome one there we go dished eight and wheel color is an alloy it looks a little bit dark these wheels for some reason but the vibe is there and we've pretty much just made oliver as it is now i believe unless he's done some extra changes i think this is how it's currently looking maybe it's had the old wheels put back on and so actually i'm not gonna have that as the build i'm gonna try and make this one a little bit stancy but i think we need to go on to a bit more solid ground which is not that way. In fact, let me try and take that crossing again, because I know this car can absolutely do it. You just need to attack it with speed. Okay, so here we go. And... Oof, I almost went off the track then. But we made it. So as with most of these mods, the interior colour sadly cannot be changed. Our suspension options are very limited, but it's a good thing we have V-Stancer. We have absolutely no extras at all. And so our options are really wheels and slam and paint. But I kind of want to go for this. I kind of want to make Oliver, but like, stanced. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's a good vibe to go for. Also, we've got this sort of gasser stance going on, where it's definitely uh, lower in the rear. And I'm not too sure on that, so we'll have to change that too. So I think instead, we'll go for the split rim version of the mini light wheel. So it's kind of like the same vibe, but not. And because the shading on these wheels, they go so black on this bit, which makes them look so not good it's a shame i don't know if we actually have a better version of this looking through all the other wheel mods i have of this they all seem to have the same problem but i will go for the chrome lipped version at least which means i can make this white to try and make it just slightly brighter it's either that or i go for a color but i don't think a custom color is really going to go well on this one or i just cope with the fact that it's already dark and make it black so let's reduce the size of the wheels and then we really need to sort out this rake because it looks terrible so the rear doesn't really need much in fact the rear just needs to go up just slightly here definitely actually i'm not do we do these wheels need to be much smaller or is it just because this arch is just so tiny i don't think this particular arch really lends well to this particular type of stance so i'm gonna go at this from a different angle so i'm gonna raise the rear height just so we can actually get a little bit more front down on this and then I just get some front camber and bring that out as much as I can, which is going to be about there. It's not the greatest. I don't think this car really lends to that style in particular. I will say that the rear arch of this looks a little lower than the arch of the original Opal Cadet. So that's probably also another reason why this car's kind of got a little bit of an American vibe going to it on the rear which I'm not entirely vibing with. But there's the first build. It's not my favorite one that I've done. <laughs> So let's just move on then to the next car. And here it is. This is the Anis Lancia. I, I, I kind of want to call it like the Lancer, but it's a Lancer with an A. So it's the Lancia. 
And this is the law-friendly version of a Nissan 280ZX. And it's kind of an odd one because, I mean, I don't remember that car particularly well, but I'm sure it must have had something else here. The, the shape is kind of weird on this one. And again, I know all of these cars are basically unfinished mods. That's the whole reason they're in this massive mod pack, because they are unfinished projects. This one's kind of weird, and that's why I just kind of wanted to check this one out. Seems in the other one was a bit weird as well. But I don't know, maybe you guys might like this one. Let me know. So here it is in green, blending in with the greenery. It's got an interesting front grille here, which I'm not really vibing with. It looks sad. I think that's just because of the angle of this top part. It makes his eyes look really sad. And then even with this, the shape of that looks like an unhappy face. This is not a happy guy. <laughs> that is not a happy guy at all. I'm so sorry, little fella. <laughs> he just looks so sad. Now this rear end actually makes me think a little bit more Mitsubishi Starion or something like that, or like actually the early Galant rather than the Starion. Definitely has a little bit of an old Mitsubishi Galant Coupe vibe to it for sure. So opening everything up, we have a big giant hatch, which reveals pretty much nothing in here. This interior is incredibly low textured. This must have been one of the older law friendly mods from this pack. Then we also have our engine. And again, it's all very primitive, which also signifies the fact again, there are no tuning parts. So we just need to go for a specific style on this one. And I kind of want to go off road where we are right now. I feel like we need to go for something a bit more rugged and changing the wheels has highlighted right here that the hub is a little off. So we're probably going to have to bring these wheels out or just get a wheel like this that hides it. So for this build, I'm going to go for the retro steely, which means we're also probably going to have to bring this out at the back. Let's just check by going to our rear track width. <gasps> no. Okay, we cannot adjust this with the rear track width, which means we're just very limited on wheels we can pick. So as these wheels are not deep dish, they do fit in. So I'm going to go for those. On the paint, I'm going to go for some dirty paint right here. Actually, the dirt mapping was never really added to the car, it seems. It's mostly just on the tires. And as this is kind of a 70s car, I'm going to go for this worn orange because it's got a 70s vibe to it. It just looks like we've just picked up an old orange one and we've just stuck on some off-road tires. I think that's going to have to be the look because there really is not much else to this. I mean, if we just increase this wheel size, perhaps... Make the wheels a little bit chunkier. And then we're going to bring the track quit out on both of those. And then bring our height up. And there we go. There is our off-road version. It's a bit of an odd one. Again, this was definitely one of those cars that really, it looks like they just made it a long time ago. There was no extra stuff with it. It's very odd. And yeah. Not too much of a fan of this one. Wasn't too much of a fan of the other one, ultimately, even though it was inspired by Hammond's um, Opal Cadet, which was fun, at least fun to see. It was fun to see that inside of GTA. I want you guys to let me know which of these you preferred. You can let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you would have styled these a little bit differently, but you're kind of limited with what we had here. But I tell you what, as with all of these, it would be amazing just to see if these were picked up again and actually worked on, and just to see where they go with custom parts and stuff could be really interesting. Okay, this did not make that. <laughs> so if you've got all the way to the end of the video, you can say police chase in the comment section below. And if you want to just see more cool builds, there's going to be one on the screen right now. Click this button right here and it will take you to another build to watch right now. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.